Benjamin here with Business Texter. Today's three minute or less video tutorial is going to cover automatic replies. So let's jump right into it. You want to go ahead and click on the automatic replies tab. You'll see we have two kinds of automatic replies. One is the standard auto reply where we've gone ahead and pre-filled in some of the information. All you need to do is just go in and dial it in for your business and then activate it. And then we have custom. So today's tutorial is going to primarily cover the custom auto responders. So the way to create a new custom autoresponder is go ahead and click the add custom response. I've created two for this demo. The first one we're going to explore is the times. Essentially the background here is that we're a restaurant and we post an advertisement into a weekly newspaper called the times and uh, put in a, the message to reply with which is thanks for texting in. Present this coupon when you order for a free appetizer when you purchase an entree and a large drink. So fairly straightforward. So a uh, customer just saw that and is going to text in. And I'll come, while I'm waiting for that text to come in, we'll hit the Advanced tab. And what the Advanced tab does, oh, there's our text message that just came in from our customer and they saw our ad in the newspaper. And so right now they're just getting the message back, sent back to them. So the third part of this is the uh, advanced tab and essentially gives you a couple of features that you have the ability to afford when an autoresponder triggers so uh, if there's a manager on duty uh, or you just want to keep an eye on what's going on you can have it forwarded to your personal phone you have the accuracy control where the uh, slider uh, can control the artificial intelligence and the uh, block pattern and response priority index kind of advanced stuff that we're not going to cover in here but they'll cover it in a later uh, video and hit save so the second autoresponder we're going to cover is uh, Facebook. So essentially we're a restaurant and we made a post on Facebook and we're trying to get our Facebook followers to uh, uh, text message in so that we can communicate with them directly. So obviously our keyword is Facebook and the same exact reply as last time. And I'm going to go ahead and a uh, customer just saw that and they're going to text message here in just a moment. And there. That is the, there's the text message that just came in. So the great thing about these automatic replies from Business Texter is that, yes, they allow you to automate your business and frequently, add, frequently asked questions, but they also allow you to segment your customers. So you can see that I have one contact inside the Times, and so when anybody triggers that autoresponder, they're going to automatically flow into that group that was just created. Now, you'll notice that there wasn't a contact added to the Facebook group. So now we're going to kind of just segue into common issues that can happen when triggering automatic responders. So I'm going to click the log button and we're going to go into the log. So at the very bottom, there's my message uh, times added to the new customer list. And I don't have the new customer auto response enabled, but I did trigger the auto response for the times. And then there's a second one from Facebook. And you'll see at the very top here, the response was not sent because this auto response was sent to the same number within the last hour. So if you're testing an auto responder and it's not working for you, keep in mind that these auto responders can only be triggered once every 60 minutes. So um, that covers this tutorial in automatic replies. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to text us or call us at 509-944-5627 or email us at support at businesstexture.com. Thanks again for watching. We really appreciate it.